Oh, Steve, you're a Lions fan? Come on, man. So you're a Red Wings fan? You like everything about Detroit? When you're a fucking Eminem guy. You wanna rinse him? What's going on here? Why do you love Detroit? Hates the Leafs, hates the Cowboys. No, that's okay, guys. I, like I said, you're either with it or you're not with it, but they are two entertaining franchises, so I think people just like to tune in, even if they don't like them. Oh, here comes the stat of death. Uh, Cowboys are 11-0 since 2023 when scoring first. That doesn't mean anything, people. It means fuck all. Aaron Andrews, you gotta shave that arm hair. I don't know what is going on here, man. I know my coach likes them younger, man. I understand, but you can still be older than MILF. Just ladies. You gotta trim up the box, you gotta trim up the hair, man. Come on, how can you be a good looking woman and you have fucking arm hair? Come on, unacceptable, man. And it was rolled up like this on national television. Fucking terrible. Lions, why are the Lions not shit anymore? Brought in David Montgomery, but they drafted Jameer Gibbs. Penny Sewell, premier tackle in the NFL. Amon Ross St. Brown, but Jamison Williams out of Alabama. Sam Laporta, nice looking tight end. So they have all the components. And Jared Goff has resurrected his career. Not that he was terrible in LA, but obviously he didn't get him over the hump like Stafford. And hey, so modern sports is cruel, guys, especially being the quarterback in the NFL. Modern fans, owners, coaches were very impatient. So he's in Detroit, they love him. Down, back. Ooh, terrible throw. <laughs> guys, this is why CeeDee Lamb, this is why, this is just like last week. He missed CeeDee Lamb where he underthrew it. Terrible, man. Guys, that Prescott doesn't have it, guys. I don't care what he did last week. Flutter ball, he hung it up there. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. And telegraphed it the whole way. His head was focused on CD the whole time. I know my team, guys. Dak Prescott just doesn't have it. The problem is he's not terrible. He probably wasn't terrible enough to get rid of, but Jerry... Like I said, I got a lot of friends, especially a few, they know who they are. They had their little girlfriend, and at 25, they had to fucking get rid of her, and now they're married to the one. Married the wrong one, man. And when you marry the wrong one... I also know a lot of divorced MILFs, a lot of divorcees out there. You're fucked, but... Nobody to blame but yourself, man. Only uh, their stupid head coach would go for it here. Kick the field goal, 20 to three, you're dominating the game. There's no reason to go for it here. That's why he's the best coach, baby. He is not the best coach, Let's we go. disagree there. He's terrible, Let's man. Let's go, baby. When you're Super Bowl, boy. Like I said, it, he, he has the green light to do this from ownership, but doesn't make it right all the time. So. Just remember this, if for whatever reason Dallas stops him here and wins, again, I'd fire him because this is the moment where you don't do this, but fourth and two, handoff, mm -hmm. just got it, terrible call, man, right on the line, and again, me and coach disagreed, that's stupid coaching. You'll get a wing, that would have gone the other way. And just like I was right in the championship game, he cost him a Super Bowl, man. He cost him a Super Bowl, so. Not a great coach, coach. Can't be great when you fuck up like that. So, until he gets it done. Yeah, he's gonna get it done because of the talent, not because of him. And goal at the 10. Lions quick pass. Too much room digs. Terrible. Terrible. Trayvon, when you're at the 10-yard line, you gotta fucking do, but that's gotta be press, man. You gotta be on him. Tim Patrick, and then he just fucking ran him over. Terrible. Even you're having a fucking bad day. Fuck all of you. 